When you are on the go, you need your credit union to be right there with you. Hughes Federal Credit Union makes your life easier. For 60 years, Hughes has called Southern Arizona home and has given back to our community. Isn't that who you want as your financial partner? Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with Greg Hansen. GH, Arizona goes to the Washington schools this week, and the big storyline, I think, is Lowry Markkinen. Mm -hmm. uh, their star freshman is playing like just a freshman now. He's struggling from the field. Uh, the game has seemingly left him. Yeah. Uh, is it reason to be concerned? And, and what do you think's up? Okay, I found this right here. Okay, you have done homework. I like this. Five games. Salim Stoudemire, the best pure shooter in Arizona since Steve Kerr. Maybe the best pure shooter in the NCAA in the last 20 right. years. Go ahead. Yeah. Five game stretch his freshman year in right. Arizona. He shoots eight for 43. Ooh. That's 18%. Ooh. Markinen in six games is shooting 34%. Wow. So that's double what Salim shot. Right. And it's not necessary. I mean, it's interesting. Lowry Markinen seven feet tall. Salim Stoudemire was six feet tall, yeah. and yet their games were very similar. I mean, very much a catch-and-shoot three-point shooter, Larry Markkinen, even though he's seven feet tall. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, that is a wonderful comp. Is These are guys who, for the most part, were just taking contested threes, and Stoudemire struggled, and now Larry is too. Salim Stoudemire against Kansas mm -hmm. shot two for 19. Wow. In a home game here. Wow. And I remember talking to him in the locker room. He wouldn't even mumble a response. He was... Devastated. Two for 19. Wow. He was a freshman. Right. And boom, turns out to be the best shooter they ever had. Right. And, and Lowry Markkinen, I mean, uh, it's not as if his reputation is shot. Uh, we saw this morning uh, he is projected to go number one in one of the latest mm -hmm. mock drafts to the Boston Celtics, of all people. And they call him the next Dirk Nowitzki. I think that that's probably a little unfair. Um, but, you know, this is a guy who's still very highly regarded uh, by NBA scouts. Sure. I mean, the big... The big thing down the line is him moving with the ball. Right. And creating a shot a little bit more right. instead of just being a stand and shoot guy. Right. And he's tried that, if you've noticed, the last couple of games. Right. And it hasn't worked. They right. take the ball away from him right away. Right. Um, in traffic, he can't control the ball. It's, uh, it's really interesting to me, though, that he's seven feet tall. If this were me or you playing a pickup game, and if we couldn't shoot from the outside, I think what we would do is we'd put a body on somebody, get low, right. and see if you could kind of back somebody down. He is seven feet tall. He does not play with his back to the basket hardly ever. This is modern college basketball, which leads to the NBA-style right. basketball. There are guys like Mark and seven feet tall who just shoot. Right. That's all they do from the perimeter. Right. How important is he going to be for Arizona to be successful this weekend? Is oh, there yeah. any reason to think that there's a trap set? Sure. Yeah? Oh, yeah. The only thing is Washington State's going to draw 2,800. Right. And Washington, in this implosion, is going to draw 2,700. Right. So it's not going to be the madhouse that Arizona is accustomed to right. when they play decent teams up there. So I, I think it won't, you know, the chance for them to lose, I looked at canpalm.com, right. 12% <laughs> in both games. <laughs> so if they don't sweep this, there is trouble. There is trouble. And this is a team that, too, you know, I think that we split hairs with them a lot because so much is expected. They're still the number five ranked team yeah. in the country. They've still really only been, I mean, most of their conference games have been runaway wins, right? You know, number five, do you really think? The thing is, I, now that we're in mid-February, right. there, there must be 14 college basketball teams that are about the same. Right. Arizona's one of those 14. Right. I was thinking about that watching Kansas on TV Monday. Yeah, me too. You sit there and you go, well, are, are they better than Arizona? Well, maybe. Yeah. You know, it's, you know that they're well coached, uh, that they have some talent. I mean, there's not one team with a target on their backs right now. The, the national champion will be one of about 10 teams exactly. we could probably identify today. That one given night thing, right. which Oregon right. and UCLA have a lot of one given nights in them. Right. I, those are the two teams I would not want to play on the, right. at any time. At any time, right. But otherwise, I think Arizona can hang. Right. I wouldn't want to play Duke. You know oh, what? Duke is so good. You know why? They, they'd trip you. But that guy, Grayson Allen, is yeah. really good. He's really good. He's really, and you know, it's so much focus has been made on the dysfunction over there, and there has been plenty. Uh, would it surprise you at all if they won the whole thing? Oh. Wouldn't surprise me. I, I, they could win every game from today on. Yeah. They have the personnel. No one has better personnel. No, and, and the ACC is not what it usually is. North Carolina's down. Uh, it's just, it's not a great league this year. I watched West Virginia. Virgi I mean, Virginia yeah. Tech, Virginia, Virginia the other night. Right. 
And I thought, you know, I think those teams would finish fourth in a Pac-12. Yeah, yeah. Well, in Virginia, I, I'm, I'm guilty of, and, I'll, and we'll wrap up here quickly, I'm guilty of buying in on Virginia every year because I go, that style of play drives people nuts. And then you get to the NCAA tournament and it just fizzles. They can't make a bucket. They can't make a bucket, and everybody kind of slows it down and is more deliberate in the NCAA tournament. You're not yep. going to catch somebody off guard by playing that way. Yep. Unless you're East Tennessee State or Santa Clara playing Arizona. Yes. yes. That, that's a cheap shot to say that <laughs> 20 years later. <laughs> long, long memory here. This is great. Um, that'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Hughes Federal Credit Union. For Greg Hansen, can you believe it's like almost March? Yeah. It's almost uh, UCLA Arizona Day at McHale. It's all, right? It's almost rodeo. Yeah. It's almost rodeo. It's almost UCLA Arizona. It's almost golf. Yeah. Uh, no, yesterday was golf. Yesterday was golf. Oh, we earn our paychecks in the month of March, don't we? Yeah. Yes. I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time.